<laughs> Holy crap! That, that I did not expect. Oh my goodness. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here on the test server. Thank you so much, Polarian, for allowing us on here. We have some things to take a look at. I think this is mostly aesthetic, but we have a freaking carnival here for for the fifth anniversary. Like, are are any of these things like new that we can click on? I don't think so. But, um, yeah, I, just needless to say, I was not expecting this. Holy cow. That's crazy. Okay, so it's still the same features. They're just, you know, different appearance. I think the Guardian Ring with Maneater juggling is absolutely hysterical. But it would have been cool if there was a new thing temporarily, like the balloon to click on to do something. Keep that in mind, Plarium, that would be pretty easy for you to do. So today what we want to do, what is this? Okay, with just this little booth here with Arbiter, and I don't even know who that is. Who is that? But anyway, um, there's some sheep down here too. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I don't think that we have anything that we need to, like, showcase or do... Other than talking about the progress missions today, because that's the goal of this. Number one, you're going to get my first genuine reaction. And number two, um, I am going to tell you what you need to prepare for today. So let's come in here and take a look. So that's so cool. Okay, cool. So we have three different tabs. I need to wrap it up. Uh, we have three different tabs for our missions okay so we have the ramontu missions which i have completed on my main account and then the marius missions which are over here okay so let's go through here there are three tracks there are three tracks here as well and then the arbiter missions there were four okay which i like all of that so let's go through this here so we're going to start off by needing sand devil and phantom shogun teams which i think is great and then the missions start off very low, like Iron Twins 1. This is a great opportunity, Plarium, to buff the rewards or change the boss or both in Iron Twins because it sucks. There's nothing good about it. Um, live Arena? You have to do that. Okay, so that's not retroactive. And then the first goal is Bronze 3? Okay, I'll be really interested to see if this is retroactive, but I don't think it is. A hundred? It doesn't even go down, so if you're in gold, you still have to win a hundred gold? Okay, that seems a little bit crazy. Purchase two items from the clan shop, fine. Ascending artifacts, fine. Hard mode, stage one, or... What? You just like, gotta go do Dragon 20? That's weird. All right, so... Okay, there will be some time gating. That makes sense. Spend 300 gold in the clan shop. Easy. Earn 1,500... Oh, mortal soul coins. Okay, I thought that was mortal soul stones. Like, that would be actually insane. That will take a little bit of time, but, you know, I haven't seen anything crazy. Earn 120 immortal soul coins from selling souls okay that's actually fine that's that's not going to be bad okay we have hydra normal on here as well and see like if iron twins was actually good plarium if iron twins was good this would be perfectly fine i think sand devil in here is good phantom shogun i'm gonna have to work on my team there because i broke it and never fixed it upgrading area bonuses wait do we have them on the test server now we do oh boy okay well i already have a little bit of a head start but i have not done that much live arena myself okay let me get back to where we just were okay and then you have your normal like top 20 stuff ascending artifacts let me figure out where we're going to get stuck here and maybe you already said like i can't do 2 million damage in hydra on normal so that's going to be where you're going to get stuck but i'm gonna let me figure out where like 
So a lot of players are going to get stuck. I do want to say, like, there are levels in the Cursed City, too. And stuff with mythical artifacts, which is interesting, but fine. And you can see here, like, we're, we're in Bronze 4 on leg 1 of the missions. I think, anyway. Because I, I don't... I'm pretty sure this is still all part 1. Spend 200 crests, so you need to start saving immediately. You need to just save... Your that's stupid. I, that is really stupid. I don't like that mission one bit because it punishes people who have done a lot. It punishes people who have done a lot. Impulse artifacts. Okay, start saving your impulse artifacts, but we will we'll get them just for like doing that. And then the first leg is six million damage on Hydra normal. That is going to stop some people. And then I, I don't think we can see what the next leg is. Maybe we can get that information from Polarium. Let me know. I'll do a video on it, Polarium. Um, I don't know. There's just no way to see it. I don't think. So anyway, if you want to get through the first 60 missions... Awaken a champion to level two. So, you know, hold on to some souls, but that should be easy. Um, presumably, you're going to need to awaken somebody to six stars. But, will people really be able to get up a, you know, I, I assume the second leg is going to have silver live arena. Is the third leg going to have gold live arena? Probably. That's my guess. Uh, that's my guess. Let me know what you think about all of that in the comments below. Uh, we do have a bunch of new champions on here as well. That has not been my focus on this video. Um, but that is a thing. Like we have this guy. We have... What are you? Oh, there's Armands. Where's the other one? What is this? Lina. <laughs> Oh, it's the High Elves. Uh, Unity Chick. 50% chance to increase a cooldown of a random skill when counterattacking teams up with a random ally. That's cool. She has a counterattack. And she places... Oh, no. She places counterattack on an ally. And it resets the cooldown of all the target skills. So she can place it on herself, or she can... That's a very powerful ability. And then here's the faction ability. Okay, grants an extra turn. What? So if you have another high elf, then she gets an extra turn. Increase attack, increase crit rate, increase crit damage, plus grants an extra turn. That's really strong, and I love it. But before placing buffs removes all debuffs? Bro, that's awesome. Buffs placed by the skill cannot be removed. Wowzers. Dang. That's very good. And what do we have over here? Deals 25% more damage when basically counterattacking. Whenever a buff is removed or stolen from an ally or when it expires, fills their turn meter by 10%. Okay. Allies will ignore 5% of target's defense for each buff on them? wowzers yes i i love all of this i love all of this and she looks super cool i'm so in for this i know everybody's gonna be salty because polarium is gonna make these champions pay to win just like acelin but i am so in just polarium make there be a better way to get these make there be a better way to get these what is this guy obviously Oh, this guy is so cool looking. 25% speed in dungeons, which is interesting. Okay. Teams up with all allies. Also fully restores destroyed max HP and places continuous heal. Wowzers. 
turn meter fill 20%, then removes all debuffs and places increased speed. What? At the start of this champion's turn, places a buff on each ally depending on their type? Holy crap. These new champions are bursting up through the thing. Through the ceiling. This guy has a sword in his head. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> I need to wrap it up here. This is actually crazy. This is probably the epic for the fusion? Question mark? Is, is that the only one? I don't know. Uh, transferring a random debuff, AoE, removes a debuff, and a heal, unkillable, and taunt? This champion will receive that damage instead. That's alright. That's pretty decent. I don't know... I feel like I need this guy on the free-to-play. I can... tune him... Wait, do I need to? Will the clan boss just automatically target him if he has the taunt up? If I speed tune him, does that do things for me on the free to play? Maybe. Ooh, that sounds very intriguing. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below, especially the aesthetics here. Thank you for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. Have a great day and start saving stuff in Live Arena, Phantom Shogun souls all of that stuff start saving immediately so that you are ready for when these progress missions come out